This tutorial is called Creating a Simple Logo Using CorelDRAW Shaping Tools. Let's lighten the image a little so that we can see our vector lines more easily. Select the image, go to Effects in the top menu, click on Adjust and choose Hue, Saturation, Lightness. Make sure you have the image selected using the Pick tool. Use the slider to turn the lightness up to 50. This will enable us to see the lines we are creating more easily. You can see that the image is now lighter. Another way to help in seeing your lines is to change the size and color of the outlines. Make sure nothing is selected. Choose Outline Pen from the tools on the left. Go down to 1.5 point and select it. This gives you a 1.5 point outline. By default, there should be a palette on the right side of your workspace. If not, go to Window in the top menu and click on Color Palettes, and then choose CMYK Palette. Now click on your Bezier tool. With the Bezier tool selected, go over to your palette and left click on the box with the X. When the Outline Color box pops up, click OK. This left click on the color palette chooses what fill color we want and since we don't want a fill color, we're choosing an X that represents no fill. We do want an outline color, so right click on the bright blue cyan color. Again, click OK when the box pops up. Now we're ready to start recreating the logo and vectors. Let's start with the letter A. You could create this using the Bezier tool as we did in the previous lesson. But another way is to use the actual font or typeface that was originally used to create this. After scanning my fonts, the closest one I have is called Zurich Extra Black BT. This font can be found for free through Google. Now go to the text tool. Type a capital A. Go to the fonts list towards the top of your screen and change from the default font to Zurich Extra Black BT. This is what the A looks like without being altered. This is what it looks like after being stretched wider. Now copy Control C and paste Control V the A. With the copied letter still selected, grab the top of it and pull it all the way down until it lines up with the bottom of the upside down A. Move the top and bottom until it matches the upside down A exactly. Now go to the rectangle tool. Create a rectangle that looks like this that extends to the widest part of that shape in the image. Go to the envelope tool on the left toolbar. In the bar at the top of your screen select straight line mode. Click on the bottom left square and holding down the shift key move the bottom edges in to fit the shape in the image. Now's a good time to make sure all the pieces you've created line up with each other. Now select the ellipse tool. Hold down the control key, click and drag to create a circle. Use the pick tool to move and resize the circle to fit this top portion of the logo. Copy and paste another circle and move it down using the arrow keys until it lines up like so. Pull the bottom up a little. Widen both sides slightly. Now go to Arrange in the top menu and choose Shaping and then Shaping again. This opens a new shaping panel docked on the right side of your screen. Go to the small arrow and choose Trim from the drop down menu. Select the lower ellipse and click Trim. Now click on the upper ellipse. This trims the first object you selected from the second object. Delete the lower object. Select the new trimmed object, copy and paste and move the object down to here. Paste another copy and move it to here. Move the bottom up slightly. Go to the Shape tool. Select the bottom center node of this last object and pull it down like this. 
move the control arms down on the left and right so that this object is covering the bottom edge of the previous object. Repeat the trimming process. Select the lower shape and click trim. Now click on the upper shape. Once again, this trims the first object you selected from the second object. Now delete the lower object. All of our shapes are now created. All we have to do is color our shapes appropriately. Select all of the objects that are to be white. Give them a white fill and no outline. If you need help with color, see the tutorial called Coloring Vector Art in CorelDRAW. Now select everything that's to be black. Make the fill black and the outline none. Holding down the shift key, hit the page down button. This sends all of the black objects behind everything else. Now select the original image and hit delete. You've now created a vector logo suitable for use in any printing situation. Next I suggest moving on to something a little more complicated such as creating a vector four leaf clover in CorelDRAW. And thanks for watching.